Alright, so in this video we are going to talk about BVH import and export. We'll also cover just a little bit on keyframe editing. That's a more complicated subject that we'll actually spend an entire video on a little bit later. But for right now, let's go ahead and import a BVH. We're going to select the import profile. I happen to know that the BVH I'm importing is of the old Truebone style. So we'll go ahead and use that. You may have to create your own import profiles at some point in time. That's a video that I will create all on its own. For right now, we're going to use the one that we already have and just click Import BVH. Now we'll go to my video that I want to load. All right, so now we can actually come down here and play it. On our sequence drop down here, you can select the video you just loaded. And then we'll go ahead and hit play on that. And we'll see that for a few frames there, we have some fairly bad data. His left leg seems to make a 180 degree rotation spontaneously in that. So let's go ahead and come down here to the timeline. Uh, we will go ahead and pan through that until we find where it breaks. Seems like it really break. It starts breaking there. Let's go ahead and, and try that spot. Then we'll go ahead and scrub forward and it looks like it fixes itself right around there. So let's go ahead and go to keyframe editing now. What I've done, or first, let's go ahead and talk about what I did right here. What I did is I marked the beginning and the end of where my leg seems to do this flip. So we're just marking out that chunk. That's The marks are used for several things. Right now we're going to use them for uh, doing region keyframe edits that you can see right here. We want to do a rotation edit, but we want to do a region as well. And we want to do that on his left shin. Uh, what region means is that it's going to just change that value by however much we give it here for that entire chunk of the video that we want to edit, which happens to be between 10 and 25 right now. It could be the entire, the entire clip if we just put the values of 0 and 1 in these top two bars, or it can be any amount of it. It just depends on what you need to change. So we're going to do an X rotation because you can see here that it is rotated on the X axis of his body. So let's go into the X. We're going to do a 180 degree rotation. And we'll go ahead and try that out. And now let's go back to the beginning of our video and let's play it and see if that fixed our, our problem. Yep, looks like his leg is now doing what we want it to do. Sometimes this process is sort of a trial and error sort of thing, but I happen to get it on the first go this time. So now we'll go ahead and export this new new BVH since we have fixed that bit. We're going to go ahead and export again under the old Truebones. You can actually Im export under any of your profiles, but we'll use the same one we loaded with. And now we'll just hit export BVH. And that brings us back to this. We'll type in our the name that we want for our video. I'll just make that number two. And we'll hit we'll hit save here. So that is the basics of importing and exporting. We've got a few other commands here that we'll go ahead and talk about briefly. We've got this BVH directive DSQ. This will actually just convert an entire folder or directory filled with BVHs into DSQs. DSQs are the format that Ecstasy Motion actually uses. So if you hit save up here, you would save your animation as a DSQ. So we can actually just convert a whole bunch of them without having to watch them. We can also export our entire, as many of these DSQs as we want, into BVH. 
So those are some important buttons there. And we can scale our actor. This is also important. This is a guess and check sort of process. You want to make sure that his feet are on the ground and that he's in inside of his box well, which he is on this guy. And that's sort of the basics of it. We'll cover some of these other features in more detail when we're actually creating our own BVH profile in a later video. So that concludes this.